collection. We'll start with adult fiction. The Woman in the Attic by Emily Hepditch. A lonely salt box house on the coast of rural Newfoundland. A trap door leading to an attic filled with secrets and a trail of clues leading to a family's past that may not be what it has seemed. Already read it? Try Hideaway by Nicole Lundergan. The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. Twin sisters, once identical and inseparable, now choose to live in two very different worlds, one black and one white. Yet despite being separated by both miles and lies, their lives remain intertwined, and therefore the lives of their children are destined to intersect. Already read it? Try The Mothers by Britt Bennett. Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. Nature keeps secrets that are both beautiful and violent. Kaya Clark, known as the Marsh Girl, knows this, having survived for years alone in the marsh that she calls home. When handsome Chase Andrews is found dead, the locals in the nearby town immediately suspect Kaya. Already read it? Try Where the Line Bleeds by Jesmyn Ward. Hideaway by Nora Roberts. A legacy of Hollywood royalty, a betrayal and abduction that resulted in scandal and trauma, and a woman desperate to move on from a past that has determined to pay her another visit. Already read it? Try Shattered by Karen Robarts. A Time for Mercy by John Grisham. A dead deputy, a timid 16-year-old defendant, a lawyer determined to discover the truth, and a trial where everything is not as it seems. Already read it? Try Defending Jacob by William Landy. Next, we'll explore some of the top adult nonfiction reads. Too Much and Never Enough, How My Family Created the World's Most Dangerous Man by Mary L. Trump. Using her background in psychology, the niece of Donald Trump reveals and explores the dark, dysfunctional family history that would go on to shape the man who would become the 45th President of the United States. Already read it? Try The Room Where It Happened, a White House memoir by John Bolton. One Good Reason, a memoir of addiction and recovery, music and love by Sean McCann and Andrea Aragon. Singer and songwriter and mental health advocate Sean McCann, along with wife Andrea Aragon, tells the story of reaching international fame and finding rock bottom. McCann's Newfoundland childhood, shaped by strict Catholic faith and traumatic abuse, as well as the creation of the band Great Big C and his struggle with addiction, is chronicled alongside his wife Andrea's parallel narrative of mental illness, heartbreak, and determination. Already read it? Try Just Kids by Patti Smith. Almost Feral by Gemma Hickey. In July 2015, Gemma Hickey undertook a 908 kilometer trek across the island of Newfoundland to raise awareness and funds for survivors of religious institutional abuse. This journey became much more than a physical one as Gemma reflects on traumatic memories of abuse, assault, and depression, as well as reflecting on their ideas and beliefs surrounding identity, faith, love, and acceptance. Already read it? Try Wild From Lost to Found on the Pacific Crest Trail by Cheryl Strayed. All Together Now, a Newfoundlander's Light Tales for Heavy Times by Alan Doyle. Adventures in Foreign Lands, a real life ghost story involving an elderly neighbor, a red convertible and a clown horn, heartwarming childhood memories, and more. Alan Doyle offers a cure during the trying days of a global pandemic for those missing the cheery clamor of a Newfie pub, where one yarn bleeds into another. Already read it? Try Son of a Critch, a childish Newfoundland memoir by Mark Critch. Becoming by Michelle Obama. Combining deep reflection with mesmerizing storytelling, Michelle Obama, former First Lady of the United States, chronicles her childhood on the south side of Chicago to her years as an executive balancing the demands of motherhood and work 
and finally to her time spent at the world's most famous address. Already read it? Try The Truths We Hold, An American Journey by Kamala Harris. And lastly, we will check out the top adult e-audiobooks. This list was based off of statistics from our e-library audio collection only. Bridgerton, The Duke and I by Julia Quinn. A lady too amiable to be truly desirable. A duke determined to shun both marriage and society. And a fake courtship that becomes anything but. Already read it? Try A Rogue by Any Other Name by Sarah McLean. Virgin River by Robin Carr. A recently widowed, grieving Los Angeles midwife and nurse heads to the small town of Virgin River in need of a change. And while Virgin River has its challenges, it also has small town charm and a bar owner who may be just what the doctor ordered. Already read it? Try any Dream Will Do by Debbie McCumber. The Body Keeps the Score, Brain, Mind, and Body in the Healing of Trauma by Bessel van der Kolk. Trauma is an unfortunate fact of life. Such experiences inevitably leave traces on minds, emotions, and even on biology. Renowned expert on traumatic stress offers new understanding on how trauma affects the mind and alternatives to drug and talk therapies. Already read it? Try Emotional Freedom, Liberate Yourself from Negative Emotions and Transform Your Life by Judith Orloff. Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. In 1945, Claire, a former combat nurse, is reunited with her husband on a second honeymoon until their blissful reunion is shattered when she touches an ancient stone ruin and is instantly transported to a Scotland torn by war and raiding border clans in 1743. Already read it? Try Chance of a Lifetime by Judy Devereaux and Tara Sheets. An American Marriage by Tayari Jones. Newlyweds Celestial and Roy are the embodiment of both the American Dream and the New South, until Roy is arrested and sentenced to 12 years for a crime Celestial knows he did not commit. Winner of the 2019 Women's Prize for Fiction and the NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Literary Work in Fiction. Already read it? Try Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. Happy reading from your library staff. Hello and welcome to How to Use the eLibrary with Libby from Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries. Here we go. In order to use any of our online services, you must have a valid library card from Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries. Next, we need to decide which device we want to use. If you're using your iPad, tablet, or phone, this tutorial is for you. If you have an e-reader or want to use your desktop or laptop, please refer to our tutorial, How to Use the eLibrary with your e-reader. Unfortunately, if you are using a Kindle, those devices are not compatible with OverDrive e-libraries in Canada. Let's get started. Please go to your App Store. This will be wherever you go on your tablet or iPad, where you search for and download apps to your device. Tap. Next, simply type in L-I-B-B-Y in your search bar and tap either Libby or Libby by Overdrive. Libby will appear on a page with other apps. Libby is the lovely maroon and teal colored app. She's located at the top right hand side of my screen and click Get. Once the app has downloaded, tap Open.
Once you tap open, it will take you directly into the app. But if you go back to your home screen, the icon will be right there. Here she is. This app is very user friendly and intuitive. It makes sense. Just follow the on screen directions and you will be reading an ebook in no time at all. So, if you have a library card, tap yes. Have your card handy. You will need it soon. Remember, your PIN number is usually the last four digits of the phone number you used when you registered. If you've forgotten your PIN, you can easily retrieve it on our website at www.nlpl.ca. Libby needs to find your library so that you can connect and validate your library account. You can search for your library or let Libby do it for you. Let's search. Type Newfoundland in the box provided and the option for Newfoundland and Labrador libraries will pop up. Tap on the box. You're now ready to enter your card information. See, I told you you needed your card handy. If you wanted to see what it looks like when the library app guesses your library, this will only work if you have location service toggled on under your privacy settings. Otherwise, your device cannot locate you and Libby cannot locate your library. Let's tap Guess My Library. This screen will appear. Just wait. And then, ta da! Here is the library that is geographically closest to you. Tap This is My Library if it's your library. Just note. All Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries will get you to the eLibrary because we all use the same one together. If it's not your library, tap No, keep looking. Here we are back at the account entry page. Tap Enter Library Account Details. If you do not have a library card and would like to register online, tap I would like a library card and you'll be redirected to a form that you can fill out to receive your library card information via email. Please enter your 13 digit library card number located below the barcode on your library card. Tap next. Enter your four digit pin. Tap sign in. Here we are, all signed in. Tap next. Now for the fun part. Here is our E or electronic library. It is a virtual collection of digital ebooks and audiobooks for everyone. There are fiction, nonfiction, and children's books. There are thousands of items ready for you to check out and use anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The E library is always open and available from the comfort of your own home. All you need is a library card and an internet connection. Let's explore. There's something for everyone and there are new items being added frequently. The kids page is a page for children and has been filtered so there is no adult content shown. It is a safe place for your child to browse and use the e-library. The teen page is similar but is for teens with filter applied to show only teen material. Cool. This is the mystery and thriller page. You can apply filters to the page so that you can see only the items you are interested in more easily. No scrolling through items you don't want or are not of interest to you. Let's look at those filters. Back at the main page of the eLibrary, you'll see preferences located on the left hand side of the screen. Tap. Preferences allows you to limit what you see when you search and what appears automatically on the page when you enter the app. 
you can limit to just books or just audiobooks. You can limit by language. Availability is the best preference for me. It allows you to see only the items that are available to check out right now. If you want to, choose Available Now. If any item, if an item is in use, you can place a hold, just like a physical book or audiobook. But sometimes you just want a book right now. You can also choose how your choices are displayed by relevance, how close it is to your search criteria, popularity, the date it was added, its release date, or alphabetically by author. Back at the main page of the eLibrary, at the top right hand portion of the screen, is an icon for your notifications. This is where you'll find information about books that you have placed on hold, books that are coming due. Simply tap Notifications. You now have the option to change and manage how you receive notifications from Libby. Tap Manage Notifications. Simply read and indicate your notification preference. Either email notification, menu badge, your notifications will show in your app here, under notifications, or ignore and you will get no notifications at all. Once complete, select back. Your notification page also has help and support options. Please feel free to explore them. Learn Libby is an in-depth step-by-step guide. We're back at the home page. At the home page, you'll see the library and shelf options. These menu options are available throughout the app and will always be located at the bottom of your screen. If they're not there, simply tap the bottom of the screen and they'll appear. At the top of the page is the search bar. You can search just by typing in title or author or subject. The app will provide you with some pre-filled options. Type in your search. This is great when you cannot remember the whole title. Libby tries to help you out. Once you type the item that you're interested in, if the item is available, you can borrow it. If not, just place it on hold. You can also read or listen to a sample and tag it to keep your reading options organized. Typing shelf will take you to your virtual bookshelf. This is where you'll find books that you have checked out, as well as holds that you're waiting to receive. Here's my shelf. Loans. There's a limit of five items maximum that you can check out at a time, and that's for two weeks at a time maximum. You can change your options to seven days if you prefer a quick turnover of items. Ebook and audiobooks return themselves. No overdue fees with the Libby app. As you can see, I have an eclectic choice of reading material. Simply tap Open Book and start or continue reading. Libby will take you right back to where you left off. You can also manage your loan. By returning a book early, you can check out another book especially if you've maxed out your five items. Your hold shelf can contain 25 items at a time. As items are received and you check them out, you can add more. Your hold shelf will show books that you are waiting on and even give you an estimation of when a book will arrive. Wow, I have a long time to wait for that one. When you tag an item, this is where it's stored and sorted. When searching and browsing, you can tag items for future referral. I have a wish list of items that I want to read sometime in the future, but I don't want to check them out or place them on hold right now. Just return to this page to check for your lists.
Here are my lists. Books I read. Books I liked. Books I didn't like. And books that I want to read. You can create any kind of tag. These are private and for your use only. Here are special features for our e-library. Catch of the Day is a special collection of high demand books that you can check out for seven days, 14 days for audiobooks. No holds, no waiting. Titles change daily depending on availability. Check back often, no telling what you could catch. Our special collections change and reflect our community and current events. These collections are thoughtfully curated by our librarians from the current digital holdings. They are updated frequently. They're on a wide range of subjects, interests, and content. No Wait Classics are available to unlimited number of patrons all at the same time. Great for book clubs. Everyone can read the same thing at the same time with no waiting. The app is now all yours to enjoy any time of the day or night. Exploring the app is the best way to become familiar with all its options and see what works best for you. Have fun. Thank you. If you need help with the e-library or are experiencing problems, please refer to https colon forward slash forward slash elibrary support dot nlpl dot ca forward slash. If you have problems with the app itself, tap your notifications icon, go to get help. It's located under help and support or contact your local library. We'll be happy to help. Have a great day. Hi, welcome to Reading Readiness with the Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries. Today's Reading Readiness and Early Literacy Tip is another one of the early, Every Child Ready to Read foundational tips, and it is comprehension. Last time, we learned that to become a successful reader and to prepare our small children for reading readiness at school, they have to learn two things. To decode, to know that each letter has a sound and each letter has a place in words and that the words that we see and the words that we say connect. And today we're gonna to talk about comprehension. Comprehension is basically knowing what words mean, vocabulary, and understanding the meaning of printed language. To become successful readers, children need to understand the meaning of what they read, making sense of the written language. If a child can read but doesn't understand what they've read, they're missing a foundational component to be an effective reader. Vocabulary and comprehension start from the time a child is an infant. The more you speak to your child and read with your child, the more you're developing their vocabulary skills. A baby listens to what parents and other caregivers say. And as that baby gets older, they start to identify the meaning of words. The more language experiences a child has, the more words they'll know. And the better they become at understanding the meaning of what is being said and eventually what is written in front of them. This will help children understand the meaning of written words as they learn to read. Vocabulary, comprehension, and background knowledge will continue to grow over a lifetime. Well-read to children become familiar with stories, the structure of story, that there is a beginning, a middle, and an end, and it enhances their understanding. Let's look at the following slide. Leah is Hipple when she rocks with her grandma. We know that Hipple and Roth aren't words. 
But if we look at the picture with the sentence, we begin to understand that maybe it means Leah is happy when she reads with her grandma. If you don't know what Hipple and Roth mean, you don't know what the sentence says. Words are understood in context. When your children begin to read, they will utilize the pictures in the books to give them context and expand their background knowledge. Give children every opportunity to explore and take in the images that they see in their picture book to give them that extra context to best comprehend what they're reading. Children can decode without actually understanding. So it's really important that we focus on giving them the time and giving them the clues to read. The better they become at understanding the meaning of what is being said, the better they will be at becoming lifelong readers. Thank you for joining us today for Reading Readiness with the Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries. Happy reading.